Item number, SCP-471. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. Methods of containing SCP-471 are currently being investigated. Primary goal of containment is to block the non-terrestrial transmissions emanating from it, with a secondary goal of acquiring and studying SCP-471 itself. MTF Mu-4, debuggers is currently tasked with blocking SCP-471's transmissions. Observation probe Delta-2 is currently in an elliptical orbit around Earth that allows it to regularly intersect the signal emanating from SCP-471. It is responsible for observing and reporting this signal each time it intersects. Delta-2 also possesses boosters capable of keeping it within the signal for extended periods of time. For the purposes of testing, or to monitor a significant deviation in SCP-471 signal. Description: SCP-471 is an artificial satellite currently in an elliptical orbit around Earth. SCP-471 appears identical to satellite, a weather satellite launched in 1970. Though SCP-471 superficially resembles said satellite, additional equipment of unknown purpose can be seen on its backside. Photographs and manufacture reports have confirmed that this equipment was not present at the launch of satellite It is unknown whether said satellite was altered after launch or replaced entirely sometime later. SCP-471 has continued transmitting the same weather information satellite has been responsible for, which allowed SCP-471 to go undetected for decades. SCP-471 was first discovered by the Space Shuttle Discovery during a routine maintenance mission to Data Expunged. An anomalous signal was detected being transmitted away from Earth, which was traced back to SCP-471. Once Foundation agents within NASA had identified that the satellite was in fact an SCP object, the Foundation took over the investigation and released a cover story, indicating that NASA had detected a top-secret military research project. Since its discovery, SCP-471 has transmitted constantly, looping every few minutes. Only one interruption in the signal has been recorded. The signal is stronger than any the Foundation or any other Earth agency is capable of producing, and all attempts to block it have met with failure. As well, the signal is clearly directed. It is only detectable within a narrow cone, radius to height ratio 0.0013 originating at SCP-471. The target of the signal appears to be fixed on Jupiter. The contents of the transmission are heavily encrypted and appear to be raw static when observed directly. Were it not for the strength of the signal, NASA would have assumed it was random static generated by the Earth's electromagnetic field. Over time, the signal has evolved, with sections of it changing since its initial discovery. A Foundation supercomputer, Bomb-2, was tasked with cracking the encryption and determining the contents of the signal. After running continuously for days, Bomb-2 was able to decrypt a small portion of it, which appeared as a series of binary values. While most of the values' purposes remain unknown, several of them were identified to correspond precisely with discrete values relating to Earth, including the current global population, total number of births and deaths that occurred during one complete orbit of SCP-471 around Earth, the Fibonacci sequence up to 75,025, number of artificial satellites currently in orbit around Earth, final scores of several American baseball games, combined total of nuclear weapons and nuclear power plants on Earth and in satellites, Poll results for the 2000 Oklahoma senatorial election. Several hours after successfully decrypting this portion of the code, Bomb 2 suffered an apparent electronics malfunction. Investigation revealed that Bomb 2 had suffered damage consistent with that of an EMP. However, no other electronics in the area had similar effects. The Foundation created a new computer, Bomb 3, to pick up where Bomb 2 left off. 
Five hours after beginning its analysis, however, Bomb 3 suffered identical damage to Bomb 2, despite being hardened against an EMP. Whether this is a result of a direct attack, or a consequence of the contents of the signal, has not been determined. The method by which SCP-471 gathers data is currently unknown, and is under investigation. Currently, three probes have been launched towards SCP-471, in the hopes of examining it more closely. Test Log 471-931 For the length of each test, Observation Probe Delta-2 remained within the transmission cone, so as to observe any changes in the signal. Date January 2000 Description A probe was launched towards SCP-471. It was to use a passive scanning system in order to more closely examine SCP-471, in the hope of better understanding its purpose and technology present. Nineteen minutes after activating, however, the probe experienced an electrical malfunction, causing its thrusters to misfire. It subsequently fell into a decaying orbit, and was lost upon re-entry. Date February 2000 Description A second probe was launched in an identical path to the first, and experienced an identical malfunction at approximately the same distance from SCP-471. It is theorized that SCP-471 possesses a defense mechanism to redirect any artificial objects from approaching it, as the probability of the malfunctions being coincidental is effectively zero. Date April 2000 Description A probe was launched towards SCP-471. It was equipped with specialized systems in order to make it more difficult to detect and more resilient to any malicious software infiltration attempts. The probe was launched in a path that brought it within 500 kilometers of SCP-471, but not directly towards it, at which point the probe was to turn and head directly towards SCP-471. This appeared initially successful. However, once it came within 300 kilometers of SCP-471, data expunged, resulting in the complete destruction of the probe and corruption of database. Additionally, at the time of the incident, the signal emanating from SCP-471 changed. The encrypted signal ceased, and instead a series of 23 phonemes began repeating. The meaning behind the altered signal is unclear, and remains under investigation. The changed signal persisted for 13 minutes, before reverting to the usual encrypted signal. Following the incident, by order of O5, no Foundation vessels may attempt contact with SCP-471 until a method is discovered of approaching it without causing data expunged. Addendum 471-1 While attempting to glean the purpose of the integer values identified by Bomb-2, the Foundation discovered a copy of the signal transmitted by SCP-471, much weaker and with an 88-minute delay, being transmitted back at Earth. Investigation revealed that SCP-471 was transmitting its signal in such a way that it was amplified by the magnetosphere of Jupiter and broadcast in all directions. The copied signal evaded detection because it blended in with the background static naturally produced by Jupiter. Further investigation into the possible interaction of this signal with SCP-2399 and other Jovian-based anomalies is ongoing. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-470, Nexus of Abandoned Places, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.